Welcome to our channel. In this video, we are going to talk about Web 3.0 explained. What is Web 3? So before starting, please like this video and subscribe to our channel for future updates. Web 3.0 is the third generation of internet services for websites and applications that will focus on providing a data-driven and semantic web employing a machine-based understanding of data. Web 3.0's ultimate goal is to make websites that are more intelligent, linked, and open. Because Web 3.0 has yet to be implemented, there is no definitive definition. It took more than 10 years to move from Web 1.0 to Web 2.0, and Web 3.0 is predicted to take just as long, if not longer, to completely deploy and transform the web. However, some feel that the technologies that will eventually make up and characterize Web 3.0 are presently being created. The Internet of Things, IoT, and smart home appliances employing wireless networks are two examples of how Web 3.0 is already influencing technology. If the trend of change can be traced from Web 1.0, a static information provider where people read websites but rarely interacted with them, to Web 2.0, an interactive and social web that allows users to collaborate, Web 3.0 is expected to change both how websites are built and how people interact with them. Properties of the Web 3.0 Artificial intelligence, AI, the semantic web, and omnipresent characteristics may all be incorporated into Web 3.0. The purpose of implementing AI is to provide end-users with faster, more relevant data. A website that employs AI should be able to sort through and present the information that it believes a certain user will find useful. Because the results are websites that have been voted on by people, social bookmarking as a search engine can produce better results than Google. Humans, on the other hand, can control these results. AI could be used to distinguish between real and fraudulent results, resulting in results that are comparable to social bookmarking and social media, but without negative feedback. Virtual assistants will be introduced to an artificially intelligent web, a feature that is currently appearing as an aspect incorporated into a device or through third-party apps. The semantic web's goal is to categorize and store data in such a way that a system can learn what specific data means. To put it another way, a website should be able to understand the words used in search queries in the same manner that a human would, allowing it to create and share better content. This method will also make use of AI. The semantic web will educate a computer on what the data means, and AI will then utilize the data. Ubiquitous computing refers to embedded processing in common things that allows devices in a user's environment to communicate with one another. Another trait that Web 3.0 is expected to have is this. The idea is related to the concept of the Internet of Things. Microformats, data mining, natural language search, and machine learning are some of the technologies that will be used to create these features. Peer-to-peer -peer, technologies such as blockchain will be more prominent in Web 3.0. While developing Web 3.0 apps, other technologies such as open APIs, data formats, and open source software may be employed. Web 3.0 and Web 2.0 are two different types of websites. Websites and applications that leverage user-generated content for end-users are referred to as Web 2.0. Many websites today use Web 2.0, which emphasizes user interaction and cooperation. Web 2.0 also aimed to improve network connectivity and communication channels across the board. Web 3.0 differs from Web 2.0 in that it focuses more on the use of technologies such as machine learning and AI to give appropriate material for each user rather than just the content that other end users have provided. Web 2.0 allows users to contribute and collaborate on on-site content, however, Web 3.0 will most likely delegate these tasks to semantic web and AI technology. So that's it for today. What do you think of our video? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video and would like to hear more from us, please subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications before you go. Thank you so much for watching us.